Look at this. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to my live. Really excited to be on today. It's been a while. So let's see, here we go. Hello, welcome everybody. I'm really excited to go live today. I know it's been at least a month, I think. I've just gotten really, really busy. So I'm so sorry about the like last minute announcement of the live, but I'm excited to be on. Hello everybody, Biddy's here. Welcome, my peaches are all coming in. So excited, Joanne, Patricia, Anna, look at that. Hi guys, welcome. Uh, so today, uh, I wanted to work in my Everyday Explorers uh, Mini Makers Book Club kit because I have the, this one's the Grab a Bite. I'm kind of behind on it. I haven't been crafting as much. As you guys know, uh, my wrist was hurting for a very long time. I did not get answers. It feels better, but I do put on the uh, little, what is it called? I always forget what it's called. The splinter. Or the splint or whatever just to help me kind of um, keep it in check but uh, it's not as bad as before thank goodness so anyways that put me kind of in a slump and I wasn't crafting as much as I usually do and um, I'm kind of behind on a lot of projects which kind of sucks but I always feel like my lives motivate me to <laughs> start crafting again so I thought I would uh, catch up on this little guy while we are live. Hello everybody, thank you so much and welcome to my live. You guys are awesome. I know it was last minute and I apologize about that, but it's just become harder and harder to go live. My daughter started school last, uh, this week, Monday, and um, my son goes back to school as well. On Friday I have to drop him off. so. I've been shopping nonstop, getting things done. It's crazy and work and everything. So yeah, that's life. Life got in the way. But I hope you guys have been enjoying your summer. Uh, I know a lot of people are back to school, back to work, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys have been staying safe and healthy. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start working in my little mini traveler's notebook. So like I said earlier, this one is called Grab a Bite. So it's all about food and you guys know how much I love my food. So I've already started it and I'll give you a look inside and then we can start working on, I think some of the pages I've already stuck down photos and some not, but we can work on them together. I've been using the postcard uh, as my title page on every single one of these little mini traveler's notebooks. If you're not familiar with these, these are from Everyday Explorers. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I love them so, so much. They are so perfect. Like every month it's a theme and August's, which I will be sharing on the 10th, right? Today's the 8th, right? Yeah, on the 10th, I'm gonna be sharing an unboxing of it and it is gorgeous. It's all about documenting shows, movies, whatever the case is. And I'm gonna share an unboxing and process video for it. So keep an eye out for that. And I use this one obviously to document my food. I started with my mom's food because it's my favorite. And I'm trying to stay cohesive in all these mini albums or not albums, traveler's notebooks. So I try to find the size I want to go with for my photos and then either add a title, 
journaling, whatever the case is, I'm trying to keep it cohesive so I can work in these faster, basically. So I have been using this to add a title, picture, and journaling, and using the kits or the kit and a few stamp sets to document these photos. So I started with my mom's uh, charcuterie, char, charcuterie boards. I always have a hard time saying that. I uh, love them. Love cheese, love crackers, all that good stuff. Mamoul, which is our Arabic sweets. These, we eat them mostly around our holidays and they are favorites. You can see I've been trying to use a lot from the stickers as well. And these uh, titles, I've been using the stamp set, which is the Feed Your Craft Mini Apollo Alphas. They are another favorite. They're perfect, like they're small and they fit nicely. Donuts, my love for donuts. I actually had donuts today as well. Knafet is another Middle Eastern sweet, which is very popular in the Middle East. It is so good. It's cheese. It's melted, it's so yummy, and then we put like sugar syrup over it. So, so good. And of course nuts. Uh, crumble cookies, another favorite of mine, has become a favorite. And um, I try to check their like online, They every week they change up the cookies. So every week I check and if they look good and it's something I would enjoy, I would <laughs> go and grab some or a box of them. Sorry, I'm missing out on the chat here. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. I see all my peaches. I have peaches um, that have turned into green peaches, which is awesome because you guys hit the one month mark. And then I have newer peaches that are still sprouting. You'll get your one month very soon. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Uh, Oh, that's so awesome, Tiani. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm making you hungry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I also documented creme caramel. That's like uh, my mom makes the best and I documented my mom's. It's creme caramel. That's how we say it. But um, I love my mom's and I have her recipe and I've tried it a quadrillion times and it never works. It does not turn out like my mom's. But I just guess, I guess I have to just um, go to my mom's to have it, but it's a favorite. And here's where I still was working on these spreads and we will finish this one together. And I just need to journal. I think I need to add a title. Documenting, of course, sushi, my love for sushi. I can have sushi every day if I can. Barbecue, especially my brother's. My brother is like the barbecue king. He is like badass when it comes to barbecue. Um, I did stick down my pizza, love my pizza, especially a uh, mellow mushroom. And I think, yeah, I have a few more photos here to document as well. And we'll get to that once I, you know, let me put these aside, uh, once I finish up these spreads, but we can do them together. I know I wanna fill out the sushi portion here. Uh, what I love about the stamp set from Feed Your Craft is that they are small, teeny tiny. I've been using it a lot in these little mini uh, traveler's notebooks and they have fillers. So if you wanna add a pop of color, this is like the perfect stamp set. It's from Feed Your Craft. Again, I believe I have all the links down in the description box for you. So definitely check it out if you're thinking of grabbing any of these stamps or kits as I share them. So we're gonna go ahead let me fill that out with maybe some orange. I think I want to go with orange. I rarely use orange, you guys, but let's do that because it kind of matches what, oh my gosh, that totally slipped out of my hand. Hold on. Let's wipe that down. I got it all over the little lid. Okay, I think I got it all. Because if I don't wipe that down, I'm going to get it all over okay my hands so we are going with orange did you guys uh know that close to my heart is releasing some new ink pads i am so excited it's not like i need any more ink pads but i can't wait to see the colors and try them out very excited about that i'm always so excited when it comes to 
ink pads, stamps. Those are like my top releases. And then like papers and stuff like that. But ink pads and stamps uh, give me so much enjoyment. Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you, thank you for joining in. Hello, Kelly, welcome. Uh, I don't know the colors. I have no idea. Let's see if Beth shows up today. We will have to ask Beth because she's my consultant <laughs> for close to my heart. I get all my stuff through Beth. So we shall see, but I'm really excited about it. Um, if I get the ink pads, I will try to do or share them on YouTube with you guys, but I'm really, really excited for them. I'm hoping that there are colors that kind of fill in the gaps, you know? That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I hope so. Let's see if Beth shows up today. Um, I know Beth works. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the title for this one. Okay, let's stamp the title for that. Um, we'll ask Beth. Maybe she can give us some inside scoop. How have you guys been? I hope your summer has been, you know, treating you well. It's been really hot here and rainy. But I guess summer's... Oh, that was a really bad stamp job right there. Um, but now we're back to school, so really our summer's kind of over. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go ahead... Oh, and I'm going to show you guys the stamp set that I'm using to add the little matching. Let me see. If, I know I, I keep all the stamps that I'm using in the kit together. So um, I've been using this one from Future Craft. I don't believe this is available anymore. I mean, I doubt it. It's a really pretty old one, but I love this one so, so much. And I've been using it to stamp right next to my title. Really, really cute stamp set. I've been using this one as well. This is Feed Your Craft as well, and it's food themed. And these two, they're three by fours. These are from Kelly Perky, another favorite from Kelly. I try not to give myself too many options. I've also been using the stamp from the kit. This one came with the kit. So that one's Everyday Explorers. And I try to keep it, because I have loads of food stamps, but I try to just keep it to a minimum so I don't get myself all confused and wanting to use all the stamps, if that makes sense. But anyways, uh, I'm going to fill my barbecue, actually, with some yellow ink, maybe. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yellow. I thought I might go with green, but that's too much green on the spread. Let's go with yellow. And I apologize about the lighting. It is um, getting dark out for some reason. It might rain. That's what I'm thinking. So that's why it's kind of dark in here. Uh, let's see. Yes, I saw that, Karen. Um, and I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm going to do an unboxing very soon of a few things that I bought recently and they're all like Halloween themed stuff which I'm so excited about last year I didn't buy any new stuff now of course like I got uh, the Halloween stuff from like companies I work with but I didn't buy anything myself which was kind of a bummer but at the same time I had so much stuff that I wanted to use it so this year I decided that I'm going to buy something and I did and I'm going to share it with you very soon. I'm really, really excited about it because they're beautiful collections and kits. So I'm thinking this is good. I just have to add my journaling down here. So I really had finished most of these. Yeah. So we can start on this spread and I can add a photo. One of these photos that I, let's add this one. Yeah, should we go with that one? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, it looks a teeny bit too big, so I'm gonna trim that down a little bit. 
I don't like my photos to hit the fold because it makes it really hard to open and close your TN. So that one looks better. Um, let's see, raining here, Wisconsin. Last two days, oh, I hate that. It's always raining here, by the way. We had a huge storm last night, crazy. It's always raining. It, it, but throughout the day, sometimes it's really nice. But then I think this is like that. Um, but then you get like major storm. It's not working. Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, I did, <laughs> Lisa. I found my little stamp. And now it sits right here <laughs> on my desk. And this like little thingy mabobber that I have, like a little bowl. But yes, I found it. It was actually, it fell on my iPad. Um, and that's how I read my comments through my iPad. And it fell there. And when I was putting away the iPad, it just fell off. So yay for that. <laughs> I was really excited to find it. Hello, welcome, welcome peaches. I see a lot of my peaches. That makes me so happy. Everybody's coming in. Thank you so much. Welcome. Um, creative in your... Uh, what do you mean about that, Nancy? Like, do I document my job? Not really, because my job is really boring. My husband and I, I don't know if I've mentioned this or if everybody knows this, but my husband and I have a little medical supply company. So I'm the purchasing manager and my job is really boring. It's basically literally just uh, emails, phone calls, stuff like that. The good thing about this job is I can get it done really fast in the morning, like a couple of hours in my morning. And then the rest of the day I can tend to the kids and the house stuff and all that. So I really never, I don't think I've ever really documented my job job. <laughs> It's just like, I guess because it's our little family business, so I don't really like document that. Does that make sense? But I think that's what you meant. Am I right? Oh, I wish, Nancy, I'm not an interior designer, but I have to say that a lot of my friends, when, like my sister, she moved uh, into her new home and she will call me, I'll go over there help her out. She always asks for my opinion. Um, my friends the same when they buy something, my, my mom, everybody. I do love interior design, but I never studied it and never, you know, that was not ever my job, but I do love, um, decorating and all that good stuff. But thank you for that. I love changing and I get really bored of my furniture and my stuff and I always change around things and then people will come over and be like, what happened to your old couch? I'm like, mm, got rid of it, you know, bought something new. That's just me. I And that's why I try my hardest not to purchase expensive things because I get bored of not like, you know, furniture, things that aren't sentimental. I get bored of it really quickly and I change my mind and I change my style and I, uh, yeah, I'm crazy like that. Uh, the size of these alphas. Let's see. I do not know, but we shall check. Uh, half an inch. Kathy. They're really teeny tiny. I love these alphas. These are from Feature Craft. There's, they're the Apollo mini alphas. And I asked for these personally from Elise uh, because I was in love with the larger ones. You're very welcome. And she made the minis for me. Uh, let me see. I don't know why my chat room does that. Uh, I don't know if it's, does yours do that? Um, it kind of like skips comments and then oh look what 
Okay. I think I got that right. Anyway, um, yeah. So it skips comments for some reason. Like it moved Kathy's before, not Kathy, Nancy. It posted your like, thank you before your aunt, your question. That's so weird. Um, I don't know. YouTube has been acting up for me basically lately. Okay, so we're going to have pizza up here. Figs over here. I have, if you're Middle Eastern and you don't eat figs, you're weird. <laughs> it's just, fig trees are everywhere in the Middle East and they use figs in everything. So basically you're born as a Middle Eastern, as an Arab, you're born to eat figs. And I love figs and I have two fig trees in my garden. They're huge. One of them is bigger than the other, but they are my pride and joy. And they're actually, I think I should go out there next week, check them because we might be able to eat our figs. They'll be nice, ripe, and beautiful. Oh, uh, so uh, Karen, you got the lowercase minis. Those are really cute as well. I have both. But I'm a, when I write, I write in capital. And I know that's wrong. And I just, I like my handwriting when I write in capital letters. So even my alphas, I like them capital. But now my kids are telling me that it's cooler to write in lowercase. Did you guys know that? Or am I the only one who's just really old? Because <laughs> I was told by my kids that, you know, it looks cooler and nicer when you write things in lowercase. And then after they said that to me, I noticed on YouTube, all the younger folks are writing their titles all lowercase. Uh, thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. You guys are so awesome. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Like fig. Oh, fig newtons are so good. Do you know why <laughs> they're so expensive? It does count. Um, but I don't know why fig newtons are expensive or is, or am I just really cheap that I noticed that? <laughs> oh, Isabel writes in caps too, because we're cool like that. In lowercase only sense. Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm telling you, I think it's a cool thing. The lower, that's what my kids told me. Oh, what am I putting these away? I need to fill out my titles. Okay, Karen, so I'm not just the only one. Yeah, that's what I was told. I was told, my kids were telling, actually, mostly my daughter. She's like, Mom, you need to stop writing in caps because it's not cool. I was like, why, how is that not cool? I don't get it. Like, when was writing in caps or lowercase a cool thing? You just write how you want to write. And then I was told that that's happening. Right? Yes, Tiani. It's like so expensive. I don't know why. Um, I actually had this conversation with my brother-in-law because we both like Fig Newtons. And uh, we were talking about how they're pricey. And then you buy the, like the, I don't know, the Kroger brand or the Target brand or whatever. And it does not taste the same. So, yeah, and you end up having it as just a treat because it's too pricey. <laughs> and by the way, I hope this time works for everybody. That's why I did a poll uh, yesterday. I thought about it. I was like going back and forth. Do I do it at 2 o'clock? Do I do it at 6 o'clock? And uh, you guys helped me out. The 6 o'clock one. And I think... Next week, we'll probably stick to Sunday. We shall see because we have um, our peaches Zoom craft with me, with my peaches, but it's Saturday. So I have to see how I feel for Sunday, if I'm going to go live Sunday or Monday. We shall see. But crafting, I did it again. See, I chat and I forget to finish what I started. I did not fill figs. Excuse me today. But yeah, being in a slump, the lives really help a little bit, like kind of get me out of that. 
you guys always, you know, get me all excited that I even forget what I was doing. Let's just go with this pretty almond. This is a favorite from Close to My Heart. I don't know, it's those basic colors that get me all the time. Okay, and once I fill that out, I do want to add a few things. And basically you'll see this come together really, really quickly. Like once I like have my pictures printed and my title stamped out, everything else just comes together really fast. I was at first thinking I'm going to type my journaling, but I was like, you know what? I do not have time for that. I'm just going to write it and we're good to go. Even though I really feel like when I type it, it looks so much neater and prettier, but I really just want to use my kits. You know, I feel like if I keep blowing things off, I'll never use it or finish it basically. So for the figs, oh, I'm missing out. Uh, oh, you have to try a fig. They're so good especially the really, really big ones. My big tree produces the smaller figs. My smaller tree produces the large fat ones and they're so, so sweet, so good. And the best is adding a fig and honey on top on toast, yum. Even like cream cheese, so good. Uh... Oh, I don't think I've heard of that. Fig roll biscuits. Hmm, I have to see what that is, Kathy. Oh no, really, Karen? I love that color. That's crazy. Yeah, they are expensive in the stores, Nancy, which I don't know why. Um, but... I get them for free for my treat. <laughs> my parents actually, all of a sudden, they just show up. I see them in my backyard. They'll come straight to the backyard with their own bowl and everything and get some figs and leave. They're so funny. They'll call me a day or two before and they'll be like, how's your fig tree? And I'm like, oh, it's beautiful. It has figs, blah, blah, blah. And then they just show up and, and steal my figs. <laughs> I don't mind sharing them. It's a big tree. Okay, so I'm going to add my numbers because if I don't, I'll forget. And we're just going to add the numbers in the corner. I love these numbers, like little tabs. And then we shall see. Let's see what we're going to do here. I know I want, I can't stamp figs because I don't have a fig stamp, but maybe fruits. I mean, I don't think I have a small fruit stamp. It's okay. We'll stamp something else. Oh, wait, you know what? I'll, I can use... Okay, I'm going to stamp one of these. This one has the fresh and sweet, and then it has like a peach and strawberries and stuff. So we're going to stamp that one in the corner. I think that would work. And by the way, which I keep forgetting is to grab my markers and fill out these little stamps, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to fill those little stamps. It will add a little pop of color to the corner and just to make it look all cutesy. That's so cute. I love the stamp set. You know, whenever there's a foodie stamp, book stamps, what else? Foodie stamps, book stamps, and alphas. There's something else that I, it's like a must. Oh, Halloween stuff. <laughs> it's always like, mm, I'm going to buy it. Even though I have a quadrillion, but I'm going to get those. And keep that out. I think I want to add washi as well. So I'm going to grab some washi in a sec, but I like this one. Just trying to see what will match with this. I'll grab that. I'm going to add this right under my number 
And then I'm going to add some washi as well. I bought the prettiest washi from Archer and Olive. So pretty. It's one of their new releases. And they are gorgeous. It, it was a pack of four. Um, let me see. This one, this one, and this one. Yeah, these four. You guys, they are so pretty. I was so excited to grab them because I really thought they would sell out really quickly. So this one looks like this and it's beautiful. Let me put it down so you can see it. And let's trim it off. So that one, I love that it's very like basic and simple. And then you have the checkered one. And this one, this one is so cool. It's not even funny. Oh my gosh, why I can't get this off. So different. Look at that. This one I grabbed for Halloween. Like, I can't wait to use that for my Halloween layouts. By the way, I have a discount for Archer and Olive, and I never remember what it is. what it is. I think it's Hiba also buy 10 or Hiba... Sabaitan. It's always linked in my link tree. Well, it's not link tree anymore. I changed my links in Instagram. And then you have that one, but it's somewhere. You'll find it if you need it. And it gives you a little discount, but you guys, they're so pretty. I like fell in love, grabbed the pack and I'm good to go. And I'm trying to use it more in my spreads, basically. Let me see. Um... <laughs> Nancy, I just noticed that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Look at you, you're all cool. Yeah, I'm going to tell my kids my friends are cool. Fig rules are the same as Fig Newtons, probably just a different manufacturer. Oh, okay, okay. Kathy, you live in Canada, right? Or no? I might be confused. Kind of buying travel cat and <laughs> crafting stamps because that's what I, <laughs> I like that, Karen. <laughs> it is cool, cool washi. I'm going to trim this off. That washi is so cool. I'm like in love. And um, remember a while back I showed you guys how I store my washi and I can't go over. I think they're just, I have three of them. No, two of them. Sorry. And I... If the drawers are too full and they don't fit, I have to get rid of some. I haven't had to do that lately. I've been using my washi much more and I finished two rolls recently and I was so proud of myself as if I accomplished something huge. <laughs> but I was really excited about it. Okay, I'm going to add this little sticker here. Like that. And as you can see, it's just basically really, really trying to use my stickers because I noticed, let me grab it real quick. I noticed, okay, so these are the kits I finished or the traveler's notebooks I finished that I still have a lot of the stickers left. Not a lot, a lot, but you know what I mean? Like I have what here, five stickers left, which I can use on anything else, but that ticks me off because you know, I like to use as much as possible. This is not going to go in. So what I was thinking once I'm done with certain amount of these traveler's notebooks, I'm going to go through the stickers and try to figure out a way to use them. Maybe do a scrap your scraps spread or something. UK, right. Sorry, Kathy. Um... Yes, they're eternal. Yes. It's like they last forever. You can't even get rid of them if you wanted to. Um, let's see if we have any cut up parts here that we can use. Oh, you know what? Hold up. Maybe I can stamp this guy in here. Yeah, I'm just trying really hard to use what's in the kit. And I'm on like photo or page 11 
So I still have ways to go. I think I end up with 24 for this one, um, but it's good to kind of at least use something on each page and that way I can finish them up kind of thing. I'm going to go with the dark green. It's pretty. And then I can just add that wherever I want. Let's see where we can add the sky. Um, you know, they do have smaller rolls, but isn't it funny that the smaller rolls usually are my favorite and they're the ones that finish up really quick. <laughs> and I guess they're smaller, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, they do charge less, but washi tape has gotten expensive. Oh my gosh, that would be so awesome, like doing the retreat and then everybody can bring their stash and like exchange, like you can grab whatever you want from a table, let's say, but you have to put something on the table. It's like those little free libraries that you see around. You can grab a book, but you have to put a book totally doing that that would be so awesome yeah we have to figure that out I have to figure out like a time a date all that good stuff for our little retreat here in Georgia but I know I want to do it like in the spring or maybe like May I don't even know the problem is like everything happens I get so busy in May it's crazy how busy I get in May and I always say it's because of my kids. <laughs> I get really busy. I'm trying to think, honestly. I did not trim that well. I know I've mentioned this before. But when I cut washi on the sides of my layout, I do such a bad job. Measuring is not my thing and being precise is not my thing. Okay. Um, let's move on to our next photo here. Where did my pictures go? There it is. Okay, so I have two more. And then do something like that. Those are, do I need to trim that down? I might have to trim down my photos a little bit. Um, one is Chick-fil-A. And if you've been following me for a while, you know my love for Chick-fil-A. I do not like Chick-fil-A's policies, but I do love Chick-fil-A. So, let's do that. Does that fit? I don't want it to hit the fold. I think we're good. Okay. So, let's do this. I'm going to stick these down. Oh, so I was saying that one's Chick-fil-A, and the other one is one of our favorite restaurants. We're well, not favorite restaurants. What am I saying? It's just a, a, a really fast Pace Cafe for brunch. We really like it for brunch. And they have this Egg Benedict. It's so good. Oh my gosh. And they're stuffed waffles. They stuff their waffles with strawberries and all the things. It's so good. And cream. It's definitely not good for you. I don't know if you noticed, but most of the pictures in this, out, in this mini, out, <laughs> mini traveler's notebook is not good food for you. <laughs> That's why they're like cravings, let's say. Four by six, or how did you print up? No, um, I printed them through pick frame. So if you choose the three by three, two ratio, I think, yeah, three, two gives you horizontal. And then I chose the two, three by fours collage so you have the two three by fours next to each other and I slide the border almost all the way to the side so you get more of a I think this is a four by three and a half I'm not sure let me double check yeah it's a yeah about almost a three and a half by almost four. So when it comes out to the four, that's how I trim the photo, like I trim it down a little bit to fit in this space. I hope that makes sense. Uh, which page? 
Joanne? Oh, the Chick-fil-A page? <laughs> I like that. Now I, I got it. I'm kind of slow today. <laughs> yeah, do all the rainbows for Chick-fil-A. Yes, <laughs> I like that one. Uh, yes, Nancy. Exactly. I do have a lot of tutorials. I know a lot of people ask me. Uh, I'm totally using that label. Um, but let me first stamp everything and then we'll do that. But I do have to do a newer version because I know PicFrame changed or did an update and now it's like totally different looking and everything. So those older tutorials, I get people asking me, oh, why does your PicFrame look different than mine? And honestly, it's just because they did an update, but it's really the same app. We'll figure it out. I'll probably have to work on a video on that a new tutorial sharing a little bit more but I use pick frame for all my photo printing and I just play with the collages honestly if it works great like I'm all excited if it doesn't I'm just like oh I'll figure it out you know so it's all about the border uh, all about moving your border with the collages to make the sizes does that make sense uh, what does this damn thing? Oh, okay, Chick fil A. You're very welcome. <laughs> Listen, uh, I will find any kind of lazy way to print photos, do collages, all that stuff. Because I have, you know, the selfie printer, and that's all I have. Of course, I have my, you know, my regular home printer, but if I can figure out a way to use it through my selfie, I will. So it just makes more sense to um, use the pick frame for that. And I know it's become so popular um, that then now they're charging for certain things. I know a lot of people have asked me about that. I've had it for ages. I don't even remember when I got that app it's been forever so I have the free version and I know a lot of people are telling me that you have to pay for this and you have to pay for that which is a total bummer I hate it when they do that why am I pulling this out but you know everybody's trying to make a buck you know uh, the books you read how do you get them to look great um <clears throat> what do you you mean like the little tiny, tiny books that I print out and I stick them on like my reading journal? I get the, like a picture of the cover either through Google, but if you click on something, okay, so if you were searching something on Google, right, and it shows you the book cover and you click on that book cover, if you just keep clicking on the book cover, it will give you an option to download to your uh, photo roll. Photo roll? Is that what it's called? Yeah. And that way you'll get like the original, not like a blurry. Or you can screenshot it. I screenshot photos from Goodreads, from Amazon. Like I'll screenshot like the cover of a book. And then I'll trim them, like, you know, I'll remove the sides of the screenshot, make it just the book cover, and that's how I do it. And then I make a collage on pick frame, the smallest one on pick frame, and I print the tiny, tiny, tiny ones uh, through my Ivy Canon printer, not my selfie printer. The Ivy Canon prints on sticker paper, so it's easier to create the collage on my reading journal. I hope that made sense. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Oh yeah, the Beth is here. Beth, we were just talking about you and everybody was asking about the new ink colors. So I told them, I don't know how much Beth can tell us, but maybe we can ask Beth if she can get, you know, give us a little sneak about the new colors. I don't know if Chick-fil-A is going to fit in there. Hopefully it will. Okay, yeah, I'm happy that uh, I was able to help you with that because it's so hard to explain it. 
uh, if I'm not showing it. I hope that makes sense. She can't say anything. Yes. We're really excited for it. I'm excited for it. And we're going to get all the colors. And remember, guys, when you buy something from Close to My Heart, use Beth's link. She's great. She's awesome. Very helpful. Best customer service. <laughs> <laughs> what day should I be sitting next to my computer? <laughs> September 1st. Is there a certain time, Beth? Or no, like midnight. Oh, welcome. I love that. I love meeting new followers. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know, there's been a, like a little boost in my YouTube channel. I don't know if YouTube is recommending my videos or what it is, but thank you YouTube, because I get to meet new people. Hey Steph, welcome, hi. <laughs> Let me see if you can insert pictures in the slide. Besides them, then print. So print a bunch of different photos I print this way. Oh Steph, you are just, Steph is giving you more ideas, you guys, about printing. Uh, that's pretty smart, Steph. I like that. Like printing it all on just one sheet, that makes a lot of sense. I wanted to add... Thank you for sharing that, Stephanie. I'm going to just add like a dot in between them because I don't have like... That this will work because I don't have the space to. There we go. Uh, okay, and have a see 12 mountain time on September 1st. Okay. That's awesome. This is why I love like my subscribers and my peaches because they're always so helpful. Always. Um, what was I going to stamp here? Mm, I don't know if it's going to fit. And how do I even spell Benedict? Let's look this up because I'm not sure about this. Um, okay, I'm writing this down because if you guys don't know, I'm also dyslexic. So sometimes I need a little bit of Google help. <laughs> so, Benedict. Okay, that's simple enough, but sometimes I question myself when it comes to spelling. Okay. All right. Oh, you guys have already been spelling it out for me? Yeah, I think that's how you do spell it. B-E-N-E-D-I-C-T. I love my can of selfie. Gives me another option. You know what? I've been looking at that for a while, but it is the oh the laser format. Hmm. I don't know. I've been looking at that for a while now, but I'm always questioning myself. Like, do I need an extra printer? Now I'm looking at this. I don't know if that whole thing is going to fit. Egg Benedict. Egg. Maybe up to here. I don't think it's all going to fit. Oh, wait, wait. Is there an egg stamp? Do I, yes, we do. Okay, we're just going to stamp the egg stamp. <laughs> and then we'll stamp Benedict. Benedict. Hello from Australia. Welcome, Susan. Is it really early there? I have to do this because I need it to get to the edge. I think it's really early in Australia, isn't it? No, Australia is on my bucket list places to visit. My kids tell me you don't want to visit Australia because knowing you, mom, you're going to freak out from the first <laughs> bug that like gets close to you or a snake. Is that true? 
Is it just a myth, like a thing? I was about to stamp egg like a crazy person. Is it true that you guys have very scary bugs, Susan? Paper, my fingers turn all black. Any advice on how to stop that? So um, first it depends on what kind of ink you're using. For photo pr uh, stamping, I like to use archival ink. Let me remove my little stickers here. I always have stickers sticking. Okay, um, so when you stamp, I do have a stamp tutorial as well. If you look under my playlist, under tutorials, I have like tips and tricks on how to stamp on photos. And this is like my go-to's from Ranger. You need to wait a few minutes for it to dry and it's a total method. So when I'm stamping on photos, and you know what, I'm gonna do it now for you. Let's move this aside real quick and then I'll find something to stamp on my plate or something like that. So when you stamp on photo paper, and this is glossy, just trying to find a stamp that I can stamp on here real quick. Okay, here we go. So if I wanted to stamp this, and take off my B. Okay, so I'm gonna curve this a little bit because I wanna stamp it on my plate. See if I can get that right. Yep. I think that works. Okay, so it's all about. Wait, let me see. Uh, I, I might end up getting that printer, <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> you have lots of things like that, unless you are. In the bush. Okay, okay. See, that's what I told my kids. They're making me all like scared about it. They're like, no, they're everywhere. <laughs> okay, so um, once you get it inked up really well, mine, I think we're good. Okay, it's all about keeping the hands steady and lifting up and not obviously touching <laughs> the ink. So I go straight down no hard pushing and moving around and like uh, going back and forth or anything like that. It's literally straight down and straight up. And there you go. No ink on my fingers. So it's all about the ink pad. This stuff, and you have to wait a few minutes for it to dry, but uh, this stuff is the bomb. Oh, printer ink, and I've been sitting here doing a whole tutorial for you. <laughs> oh my god. See, that's why I hate, like, texting and stuff. <laughs> but now you gotta, you know, now you know how to stamp on your photos. <laughs> what kind of printer are you using that the ink is getting on your hands? I was in the groove, yes, I totally was. Oh, Pasha's here. Welcome, Pasha. Pasha, is this your first time coming to one of my lives? I'm excited to have you. Um, and dies under. Oh, for real? You know, um, Susan, are you changing the the printer? Like, okay, before you print, are you changing what kind of paper you're using for the printer? You know how you can do that on your computer? Oh, newbie, I'm so excited that you're here. Love, love everything you share on Instagram. You guys need to uh, follow Pasha. She's awesome. She is my planner. I want to be Pasha when it comes to planning. Totally. <laughs> okay, so now that we stamped the little egg stamp, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my word next to it, Benedict. And then I can fill this out. And I forgot who suggested the rainbow, but I have a feeling I'm gonna add the rainbow <laughs> and maybe then tag Chick-fil-A. 
Oh, thank you so much, Claudia. Thank you. That means the world to me. I always say I have like the best followers on Instagram, the best subscribers on YouTube, and the best peaches members. You guys are awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, that sounds so nice, Karen. And the, oh, wow. That sounds really nice. Love. Oh, you want to see what I got from Heidi Swap? Let me grab it real quick. I wasn't going to share it anytime soon, but I bought the mini storyline chapters. <laughs> you guys, I just couldn't when I knew they have the mini size. I think it's a six by eight. I'm not sure, but I grabbed it. And look how cute the album is. Totally using this very soon. I'll let you guys know what I'm going to use it for very, very soon. So I gave you a sneak peek. Yes, you need it. Scrapbook.com. That's where I got mine. Love, love, love. Uh, and this color, by the way, the it's like a really beautiful off-white. It's just gorgeous. And you get two notebooks with the album. So... Pasha, you need to share your Insta um, with everybody else. What was I stamping? Oh, I already put it in here. I always say this. You guys can always share your Instagram handles. Or if you're a YouTuber, you can share it in the chat for everybody to follow. Because we have amazing YouTubers and Instagrammers here. Yes, they're so, so pretty. I always have my scrapbook.com link linked in my videos. Um, obviously, it is an affiliate link. You don't always have to use mine. I know there's a lot of affiliates for scrapbook.com, but if you do use mine, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. I'm always so grateful for you guys. I'm switching my blocks because that block is really big for my alphas. And let's fill these out. Okay, what are we doing? Chick-fil-A. It's so hard to craft and chat at the same time, but you guys know I always complain about that. I need my red, so I'm going to go for Studio Calico's Poppy. For some reason, this red is so in your face. I love it. Even though I don't use a lot of red. But I just love their red. It's a favorite of mine. I should take out what I'm using for this. Hopefully I don't get confused. So when I have the letter out, I can just fill that out. Maybe we should go with... Um, maybe I should go with yellow? Is that too much yellow? I don't know. Or you know what? I'm just going to go with gray. Like a muted gray, maybe? I'm trying to find my grays. Uh, let's go with this one. Come close to my heart. It's like a really muted gray, but it works. Just to add a little bit of color to it. Because I'm going to add stickers and stuff, so I don't want it to be like in your face too much color. Uh, hey, Christine, welcome. Christine is in the house. <laughs> Nancy's like, oh, I followed the wrong person. <laughs> A mini book paper is with ink. Um, I don't, I think it works fine with ink. Biddy, I, um, if you go back and you watch my uh, Me, Myself, and I project, I think I used all kinds of inks on that paper. The only inks that you can't use on there 
is probably the black close to my heart ink, I think. But I don't, I don't know. I didn't think I had a problem with it. It didn't bleed. It will ghost, but it didn't bleed, if that makes sense. And to me, ghosting is totally different than bleeding. Bleeding can be ugly, you know, especially like on a scrapbook layout. But ghosting, I don't care. Like ghosting doesn't bother me at all. But I know a lot of people do not like the ghosting whatsoever. So, and also, you know, if you're layering and adding pattern paper and stuff, I don't think it really matters, right? Because you can use whatever ink pads at that point. Um, Jane, if you go, if you click the little arrow next to the title of the video, there's like this little tiny arrow to your right. If you click that, it opens like a whole list of links, anything I used in my videos, uh, any affiliate links I have, and you click on that, you just click on that link, and that basically is my affiliate link. Me too, I love the size, Karen. I'm really, really excited for it, and I'm excited to share with you guys what I'm gonna use it for very, very soon. It's coming up soon. <laughs> I have a lot of videos coming up sharing new stuff because you guys oh I can't even tell you like once October hits I'm gonna be doing October daily last year I loved it so much I had such a blast with my October daily and if you haven't seen my October daily videos from 2020 definitely check out my playlist had a blast with that one so I'm gonna do it again this year and then right after October Daily is the Thankful 30 for Feature Craft. So I'm also doing that and I'm so excited for it. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen the sneaks for all the new kits that are coming to Feature Craft. I'm dying. They're so pretty. There's like an October Daily stamp. Uh, there's the Thankful 30 line, like the collection. Oh my gosh. So, so much. I'm just really excited i'm excited to like do those two projects and they're back to back so it's like literally uh one project to the other but i'm excited i can't wait yeah you see i think um some people don't like the ghosting but some people really don't care i'm i'm like you pasha i don't care um you are using I think we measured it a second ago I think they were three and a half by three and a half or a little bit larger and I forget so yeah three and a half no almost four and then I've been trimming just a tiny bit from the four inch and then yeah three and a half and there yep yeah, there goes fall I love fall do you guys love fall I can't wait for fall, honestly. Georgia in the fall is gorgeous. The trees uh, is just so beautiful and the weather is amazing. So I love fall and I can't wait. And I love Halloween. My kids are older now. They don't do the whole Halloween thing, uh, which makes me sad. They will dress up. We used to, um, we had, I'm gonna put this one away. Well, hold on, before I put that away, I need to stamp this so we always had a little tradition where we'd go to our friends have halloween with them and the kids would dress up and we me and my friend we put our our witch's hat and whatever and give out candy and the kids watch scary movies together um but last year we couldn't because of covid so we missed out on that which is fine hopefully this year we'll get to do that but then um my son will be on campus and he won't be with us, but that's okay. So, you know, it's a little bit different, but I'm still gonna document Halloween. And this is what I love about scrapbooking is looking back and seeing how Halloween changed from one year to the other, where I used to <laughs> dress up my kids, walk them door to door, and now like they don't do that anymore. And then they had that whole, oh, we're gonna go with our friends kind of thing. <laughs> And then they grew out of that and it became like a family thing where we go together to our friends and do it together. And 
it's just that's what I love about scrapbooking seeing those pictures seeing the difference from year to year and also for my kids to see that as well um, let's see yes favorite season as well um, well fall for us is pretty long fall in Georgia I feel like starts like end of September and you know all the way through up to you know winter Oh, I love that. I miss that when they wear their costumes and you walk with them. It was always the kids and I and my neighbor and her kids. And now all, you know, all their kids are older, so we don't do it anymore. But yeah, I totally always say this to mothers, like cherish every moment when your kids are toddlers and, you, you know, little kids because they grow up so quickly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for real to January. <laughs> so true, Pasha. <laughs> yeah, and then the winter is so odd in Georgia. Like, sometimes you'll get those beautiful winters with the snow and the pretty snow. Not the snow you shovel kind of snow. <laughs> Thank God for that. I can't deal with, like, living somewhere where I have to shovel snow. But then some years we have just really cold blah, kind of weather. It's just cold and unnecessary. Let's see. Do you have any hints on how to use the fill-in stamps? I never seem to... You know what? Um, I always say this, like it doesn't have to be like perfect in the lines. Um, and it's all about like practice. Like if you just do it and not worry about it being perfect, you, that's literally practicing and you, then you start getting better at it. Um, I've even perfected doing it without having my head over it because of the camera. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, when I first started recording and I would do the filler stamps, I would have to put my head over it and like perfect it. And now I've just perfected just stamping it without putting my head over it. And literally it's from practice but I also say it doesn't have to be perfect like if you look here the C is not perfectly lined and it still looks good so that's the beauty about stamping like it doesn't have to be perfect um, let's see oh yeah in Austin it's like it takes forever it's so hot over there and winter is like non-existent <laughs> the ice avalanche. Yes, exactly. Uh, oh, Kathy, don't even get me started with that. They sent our kids to school that day. <laughs> my kids' school at the time, I think they were elementary level. Well, no, I think my son was middle school and my daughter was elementary. And literally school is two minute drive, not even two minutes. It took me four hours to drive back home from school. That's how bad it was. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. And the photos you are using. Everybody asked me about the size of the photos. Uh, we said that the photos are three and a half Karen by... Oh, somebody wrote it four. There we go. Thank you, Biddy. <laughs> Yeah, everybody asked about the photos. Uh, oh, 1992. Okay, okay. Oh, Kathy, I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, Kathy, I'm sorry about that. I know I'm trying to figure out a good time now. With everybody, you know, getting back to the norm of going out on Sundays and doing their thing. So I just, I'm always worried of doing the two o'clock and then everybody's, you know, out and about, especially the summertime. I think in the winter, people are more inclined to stay home kind of thing. So I promise I, I'll figure it out. I know I keep switching, but I'm just so confused myself. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I think I'm going to at this guy here, no, maybe here. Oh, you know what? I should have put some washi tape. Okay, I'm going to put washi tape because, again, trying to use my washi. And you know what we can do? We can add rainbow washi to our Chick-fil-A layout. Great combination. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add that. Oh, and by the way, Pasha is on the December Daily team. I, I don't know if you guys saw the announcement for the December Daily. Pasha's on the team. There's so many amazing crafters on that team. And a lot who I know. And I was so excited to see a lot of new faces as well. So excited for everybody. Uh, as you guys know, I don't do December Daily, but I love looking at all the projects and the layouts it gives me so much inspiration. It's just beautiful. Uh, let's see. The announcement, the works, I just have to remember. What uh, announcement? Oh, the announcement of the Ali Edwards so you can tell I like forget really quickly. <laughs> You're very welcome, Pasha. It's on Instagram. Five years. Oh no, Stephanie. I'm so sorry. I'm honestly being more careful now. Like I was getting all hyped and happy when I got vaccinated, but now I feel like I'm on alert again. Um, okay, so let's see what we got here. I think we shall stamp a little. Let's see what we got here with my stamps. Uh, maybe I should stamp one of these. I like to add these like blocked stamps or word stamps in black ink because it really helps add like a pop of darkness. Oh, one sec, guys. What? Oh, can you get Stitch out, please? Thank you. Stitch like runs in here right when the door opens. He's not allowed in my craft room. Okay. So we're going to stamp this and trim it out and probably just kind of add it somewhere, either here or there. They have a lot of... Oh, Biddy, you're right. Okay, okay, I'll grab that. See, the problem is, like I said earlier, I've been trying to stick to just a few stamp sets because I get so overwhelmed when I have a quadrillion stamp sets sitting on my desk or with my little mini kit. But that is actually a really good stamp set to use. Let's look in my paper person bucket. So I really thought I would just have one bucket for my paper person stuff, but it seems like I'm going to outgrow this very, very quickly, um, which I mean is not a bad thing. It's a bad thing if you're not using them, but it's a good thing if you're using them. <laughs> is this it? No, but that's actually a really cute stamp for the brunch. Let's see. Um, where's my brunch stamp? There it is. This one's, thank you for reminding me. I always like forget about certain stamps. There again. Hmm. Yeah, it's really sad, Stephanie. I, it really upsets me that we're back to square one, basically. It's just really upsetting. And the kids going back to school, that's just, oh, I don't even get me started because I'm getting the news from my daughter and how a lot of people aren't masking up and they're not allowed to tell anybody that, yeah, it's just annoying, honestly. I, I can't. I just hope people would recognize that we all need to be safe and wear our masks. I'm trying to think which one I should stamp. I like the toast. You know this donut stamp? Does that fit in my donut layout or did I fill that donut layout to the brim? I filled it to the brim. Okay, it's just not gonna work. Okay, I think I'm gonna stamp the toast. 
And you see this one? I like this one a lot. Oh man, I can't make up my mind. Okay. We're going to figure it out. And I will like fill that egg with marker. Like I'll just use my markers and fill that out. Um, I have a feeling that I want to stamp the toast and it has the filler stamp. So, uh, by the way, about like the filler stamps, I know a lot of people stamp the filler first and then the line, the outline. Um, I never, like, I rarely do that, rarely, but a lot of people claim that it's better. So you can try that. I'm trying to see if I should do the, let's try this one for my toast. Sorry, I'm missing all the, uh, yeah, same, same. It's like my kids are wearing masks for sure. Um, always. And, um, we're fully vaccinated and I'm just hoping that, you know, people just stay safe so everybody can stay healthy. Basically. I might just stamp brunch. Let's stamp brunch or my favorite meal. Actually, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to stamp that. Let's do that. Isn't it the cutest? Uh, Kelly always like, she's perfects stamps. Like she's the queen of stamps. I can't even love everything Kelly does. Can you tell I'm a fan? Total fan. Okay. So let's do that. And I also like this guy here. So I'm thinking of actually stamping that and finding a spot for it. <laughs> now Biddy got me on Kelly's stamps again. And so this is going to be a long process. I'm trying to use my Studio Calico Black Ink because it's drying out and I'm trying to like completely dry it out so I can open the new one. <laughs> I have a new one on hand and it's been sitting there tempting me to, it's like telling me, open me. I do this a lot. I think I've done this before all my, my life. Okay, let's see. Um, Pigment based stamps, the filler is usually uh, okay, that makes sense, Biddy. Ah, I get it. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, yeah, my daughter, Kathy, has been at home since the pandemic. This is her first time going back after, what, a year and a half or something like that. Um, Pasha, if you put at... And then the person's handle, you can tag that person. But you have to keep like the name, like one. Does that make sense? Ink pads usually last. It depends how long you've had the ink pad and how much you use it. I use my black ink a lot and they don't last very long with me because I'm using black ink for basically everything or um, but like certain colors that I don't use as much will last forever. I know like my red poppy color from Studio Calco, I've had it forever. But again, I don't use a lot of red ink. So usually I run out of black ink. And I always keep like an extra because I know, you know, it's like my go-to color. But it should last you a while. Especially the close to my heart ones because they're so big and you have all that space, it has more ink, if that makes sense. Studio Calico's ink pads are kind of tiny, tinier compared to a lot of ink pads. Like these are the paper person one, so they're much smaller, but I still like that size because it doesn't take a lot of space. And these are the first ink pads I think I've ever bought from Studio Calico just because of their size and their colors. Um, but like, Look at that, that's huge, like compared. 
Look at the size difference. I love those. But these are perfect as well. I mean, it just depends, honestly, what you prefer. Okay, so I might just do that. No, you can't see the... Okay, let's put it somewhere else. It's backwards. Where are we going to put you? Maybe? I'm not sure. It kind of looks whack. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm missing. Uh, okay, miss somebody? No, okay. Okay, people, okay, I think I'm gonna try it. I like that idea that it makes it more crispier. I will try that. Oh, Simon says stamps. Uh, I have a friend who loves their ink pads. I've never tried them. I, I don't think, no, I have never tried them, but she swears by their ink pads and she loves their ink pads. So, oh yes, did he? good job. Yeah, because the blob of ketchup is not really pretty, is it? But I have to have my ketchup with my potatoes or your hash browns. Do you guys eat your hash browns without ketchup? I can't. My husband thinks it's really gross. I'm like, it's potatoes. He's like, yeah, but it's still gross. So I always like wonder if it's just me because I know my sister as well. My kids eat it with ketchup. So maybe my husband's just weird. What? Christine, you don't. I was really expecting to have this whole, like, yeah, you have to eat it with ketchup. What? Oh my gosh. I'm not telling my husband this. Then he's going to see, see, I told you <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really thought everybody eats it with ketchup. Your hash browns? You don't eat them with ketchup? Yes, okay, there we go. Okay, no ketchup, only french fries, okay. <laughs> there we go, thank you. We have people that do eat it with ketchup. Mm. <laughs> Cheese, oh, mixed in. Ketchup on eggs, my daughter eats ketchup on eggs. Ah, I'm not a mustard fan. Not a mustard fan. Nope. Mac and cheese and mustard? Okay. So ketchup is not that weird on hash browns. <laughs> Stephanie, that was weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should stamp the drove miles to eat this, but it's not that far. <laughs> it's probably like a 10 minute drive. Let me see. You are the... Butter to my bread. Maybe I should stamp that jam. I think I'm gonna stamp the jam. Um, oh, the Versify. I think Lisa, we talked about that, didn't we? That you like that. Um, ink for your photos. Do you use a stamp on glossy paper with it? Mm, that makes sense, Stephanie. Yeah, you have to like mustard. Oh my, Karen, you can't have a burger without ketchup. Like, that's just, that's illegal. Yeah, that didn't look good. I think I have to stamp it separate. I was hoping that I can just stamp it directly on it, but it's not, it doesn't look right. So we're gonna do this the hard way and trim it out, it's okay. I love my ketchup. Not on everything, but 
Yeah, on hash browns, fries, hamburgers, mayo. Love my mayo. I can get about anything about mayo, by the way. Like on a sandwich, how, you can't just not have mayo on your sandwich. Okay, let's see. Okay. I think we're good with that. I am going to... I'm trying to see if there's a filler for the rest of the stamp, but I don't think so. Doesn't seem like it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and trim this guy out, and then I'm going to cover that because I don't like how it looks at the moment. By the way, tomorrow there is no video on Monday. Um, if you've been following me, you know that I usually post on Mondays and Wednesdays and sometimes Thursdays or Fridays, but tomorrow there will not be a video because I'm posting my unboxing for Everyday Explorers on Tuesday and I have a video on Saturday and I have the unboxing of Feature Craft on Sunday, I think. So I have like three videos coming up. So I decided not to post tomorrow and post the rest of the stuff and you'll still get three videos this week. And Saturday I have my members only Zoom hangout, which I'm so excited for. I had a blast last time. Oh my gosh, imagine being in a cafe and there's no ketchup on the table. Yeah, so, so do I. I like the Ranger Archival for stamping on photo paper. Um, sorry, I'm missing out on the chat. I'm trying to just catch up. What? That is just crazy. I would like return my burger <laughs> if they didn't have anything for me to put on my burger I'd be like mm, I don't know why these are s I have a feeling like the paper person's little plastic thingies this time around were bigger than the size of my pouch okay this is not working I have to do it later um, yeah me too I eat my mayo with the fries too <laughs> Is Tim Holtz down position? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, Lisa. <laughs> Polo needs to go out. Yes. I wouldn't go there, Biddy. If they didn't have, like, my ketchup and mayo, it's like, what do you expect me to eat? I should have used one of these guys. I, did I drop, oh, there it is. I'm thinking I stamped two things. Okay, I have to keep that with my kit because I could use it for something else because I'm always looking ahead, but I'm trying to add a little something. I need to, okay, you know what? I know what I'm doing. I just needed some words here. It just felt like, all the clusters are kind of on one side. And so what I'm gonna do is like tuck this guy like that, and that way you can, like it looks like a cluster, a longer cluster that's not straight than just a vertical cluster. Does that make sense? That way. I'll color that in. Uh, I can add, this little burger stamp or sticker. So what I've been doing with these, because these stickers are like glossy, I just, I try writing on them with like certain pens that work on this type of sticker, but I just didn't like it. So I've been cutting off the little icony things on the side and just adding them to my spread and that way I'm using them and not just ignoring them because I don't like the length. Do you know what I mean? Or I can't write on it or whatever. So I think that's good. I think I don't need to add anything. Let's double check. Oh, you know what? I can add more of the washi. Let me see real quick. Yeah, or, or this washi. 
on the bottom. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. The scissors, I'm all over the place today. There we go. Yeah. I think that's cute. Let's see how everything's looking. If I want to add anything. I think we're good. So I have like these pages to fill out. They need journaling. And then I can kind of move on. So that's looking pretty good, you guys. Like this is coming together really nicely. I think I should be able to finish it this week because I do want to focus on the newer kit that's coming out with the movies and shows and stuff like that. So that's what we came up with. Uh, <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh my gosh, had salad cream on cornflakes. Oh, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, uh, let's see, I just brought that white ink. The white ink, which one are you guys talking about? You guys are so funny. Thank you, thank you guys. I'm loving this book. Uh, let me grab the rest. Hold on, you guys. So basically, I have three done, the places, and then we have the pep talk, and I think this one is the life right now. Do you guys want me to do a quick flip through of them before we wrap this? Oh yes, I love the, the moonlight, such a good ink pad. Okay, yeah, I think, oh, we're saying yes for a flip through stuff. Okay, so let me put this. Okay, we're gonna do quick flip through. I do have little quick flip throughs on Instagram. Um, I don't think I've done one for YouTube. Maybe when I'm like done with a good chunk of these, I'll do a bigger flip through or a better one, but we'll do a quick one now. Okay, we shall set these aside. And I can work on that this week. So um, this one was, Number one, which was the places. So let's put this guy aside, move things out of the way. I hate it when there's other things in the screen. Okay. So the first one was places. Uh, oh, that's awesome, Christine. Good girl. You go. You go, girl. <laughs> I love it when like you're so into it and your whole desk or your whole table is full of products to document a certain thing, that means you're gonna get it done. Okay, so I've been using the little cards that come in the kit as well, um, but for places, I went with my favorite spots. It wasn't like, you know, just my favorite um, trips or whatever. So my first one was Oregon Park, love this spot. My son and I love walking, taking our walks there. My parents' house. This traveler's notebook, I went back and forth. Like I didn't, it, not, it wasn't really cohesive. I just did my thing. Target, of course. Target. My garden. My craft room. I should have used a photo of my craft room. I don't know why, but I have a feeling like this was already printed out or something. I'm not sure. Library. Love going to the library. The hood, which I call my neighborhood the hood. Um, I love my neighborhood. It's just, we've been here for over 11 years now and it's just home basically. So documenting that. Our trip to the Philippines. That was our last big, big trip. Our last family big trip kind of thing. And it was so special, so it had to make it into my traveler's notebook. The backyard, because I get to spend it with Stitch. Love spending that time with him. 
mom and dad's pool. Great time in the summer. It's just a favorite. We just get to relax. If you're hungry or you're, you're thirsty, you know, you just get up and get water or something to eat from mom's kitchen. It's just our favorite spot in the summer. The avenue, this is where we hang out. Like if the kids need to go shopping or whatever, mostly the kids and, but I love the space and it's really close by. So then we have the park. This is another park that we love taking stitch for walks and it's really beautiful, especially like in the summer when everything's so green in the spring, especially actually. And then the last spread that it had little boxes. So I used it to document my little bucket list of places we want to go. I did add some of mine and my kids. And there's Australia. I mentioned that earlier today. Uh, New York, my kids really, I've been to New York a few times, but my kids have never been. So uh, we really want to take them to New York at some point. Um, and fingers crossed, maybe in 2022 because my daughter is going to play the orchestra school orchestra is going to play in new york so we'll be going hopefully fingers crossed so little spots like that japan tokyo all that stuff so just documented that love this little mini kit of places it's just a nice way to kind of see your favorite spots and places and then number two hi sue welcome okay Number two is, we said was the pep talk. And this is a favorite. I really had fun with this one. Um, you know, after doing me, myself and I project and documenting myself, I've been wanting to include myself more often throughout my notebooks, which I usually do, but having another <laughs> notebook for myself was a big deal. But anyways, I started with a photo of myself and this is literally a card I think was from close to my heart and it said be someone else's sunshine and then a lot of stamping keeping it simple using washi tape stamped out you are amazing remember that just like a collage of myself you rock I hit 10,000 on Instagram which was like what <laughs> that was a big deal for me so I just documented that keep calm. You're a good mom. I think all of us, like all moms always question themselves. You're always like, am I doing a good job? Did I mess up? You know? <laughs> so it's good to say it to yourself and remind yourself that, yo, you're, you're a good mom, you know, keep up the good work. My documenting my sisters and my mom, love them so, so much. And really I want to surround myself with people that I love and just saying, you know, when we have each other, we have everything. And it's so true because everything else doesn't matter, especially going through 2020. It's just, this is what's important. Oh, Kathy, you can do it whenever you want. I get a lot of people ask me about the me, myself and I project. And I say, do it on your own pace, do it whenever you can. And then uh, surround yourself with what makes you happy. And I kind of documented my family, things that make me happy, crafting books, stitch, you know, little things like that. Choose adventure always for sure. And I'm really enjoying the full photo pages. It's so much fun to do. You deserve to be happy. You know, get yourself a cupcake. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. This is something I've learned years ago <laughs> and I've really tried my hardest to do that um, with work and with, you know, my side gig, which is YouTube and Instagram and things like that. Um, I don't want to put all myself in this when I don't have to. Does that make sense? So I want to remind myself like work smarter and not harder. All you need to sleep. Another favorite layout here. I love the stars and the clouds. And a little quote for myself. It's time for you to do for yourself what you have done for others. Because I know I'm a giver and it's okay to, you know, not just give, 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 but also to expect something back. And it doesn't have to be, you know, something physical, you know. 
So that's important for me to remember and choose to shine. And that is my last page in that pep talk TN. I really loved how that one turned out. It was a lot of fun putting together. And then we have the life right now. Yes, totally agree. Um, oh, I got a little heart here. I don't know where you came from. Okay, so moving on. This one is the life right now. So this is the third one. Again, I put the little quote. I just stick it down on my title page. And I literally documented the first two spreads are like my morning routine. And I thought it would be fun to do that because I usually don't like do the times and things like that. Like when I document, because I also don't do, oh my gosh, what is the Ali Edwards um, project? Week in the life and stuff like that and day in the life. I don't do those. So it was fun to kind of document my morning routine and then my evening routine. That was a lot of fun. These are stickers from Feed Your Craft. Love those. I think I need to buy more because I'm going to run out of them pretty quickly. Thank you guys. They're the best little books. I love the subscription. Uh, I also stamped, uh, not stamped, documented currently watching and binging. And I just added my three favorites at the moment and add a little bit of journaling added some TV stamping and my star rating. Currently reading, I think this was back in, what month was that, June. So that's what I read in June. And I also added like, if I read it on my Kindle or if I listen to it on the audiobook. Currently eating, that was a long list. You guys know how much I love my food currently listening to at the moment. Uh, I documented the three artists that I was listening to at the moment and I also um, added my favorite songs. So I have both basically. My favorite apps. I say this all the time. It's really important to document these little things. Um, now it might seem like that's ridiculous. Why would I document my favorite apps? But believe me, in years to come, this is going to be gold <laughs> because you'll forget um, things change. And also, you know, you never know your kids will be interested in this, your grandkids. So I definitely recommend documents, the little things as well. Currently loving. I did a list for that. Currently splurging on and I bought some big stuff that month. I sure did, and I do not regret it. Uh, where's the TV stamp from? This one. The little, this one? I think that's um, an old Kelly Perky stamp, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it's an old Kelly Perky stamp or a paper person, but I have a feeling it's a Kelly Perky. Thank you guys. I'm sorry, Stephanie. She's like, it's all your fault. Oh, uh, yeah. I know a lot of people don't are not into The Handmaid's Tale because it's too heartbreaking. Um, and it hits a little bit harder for females, I think. So, yeah, but I love it. It's one of my favorite shows. Yeah, it is a cute TV stamp. I'll check for you, Karen. Just remind me to check for you later if it's a Kelly Perky stamp or not. Bye, Susan. Thank you for joining in today. Um, I also documented what I'm currently, my like current projects, which was fun. Thank you, Biddy. This is Essie. By the way, every time I paint my nails, my nail polish sits next to me on my desk. It is Mojito Madness. Man, I need my glasses. Yeah, it says <laughs> Mojito Madness. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty green. I get so many compliments on that green. And uh, currently grateful for, obviously family, 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 and Stitch. Currently Bravo, um, just moments that I'm very proud of myself to hit. Um, and I wanted to document that. 
So bravo to me. And I'm okay saying that because we should all be proud of ourselves and our accomplishments. Currently playing, and those are the games that I play on all the time on my phone. It's bad. But man, like when you're waiting on something or you're in your car or whatever in the, at the doctor's office waiting, these are good. These keep me entertained. So um, those are what I have been up to or that's what I've been up to documenting in my little Everyday Explorers kits. Love these guys. Number five is as good. I can't wait to share it with you guys and let you know. That does not look straight. There we go. Um, and share all the new kits and stamps and everything from Everyday Explorers. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everybody blames me for buying this stuff. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. We're going to wrap up anyway. Um... I just thank you everybody for showing. It's just been so great. I know I haven't been going live for a long, long time, but I always miss you guys when I don't come and do my lives on YouTube. The front of the books, this one I stamped. These are stickers from Everyday Explorers. And those are stickers. These, like the little corner, that is a part of the, like the Traveler's Notebook, but I only stamped on that one and the rest I've been trying to use my stickers. At first I thought I would stamp like big titles or whatever, but I think the little cards that come with the kit is plenty. It's okay, Ali. I'm going to put this on replay so you can watch it whenever you want. I know I've been changing up my times. I apologize. I'm just trying to figure out my time and your time and how life is changing lately so thank you so much karen thank you guys yes i would appreciate it so much if you click the like button subscribe all that good stuff and don't forget i have my membership my peaches i see a lot of my peaches in my chat today thank you so much for joining for being peaches and thank you everybody for joining me today it means the world to me you guys are so awesome I truly, truly enjoy my lives and chatting with everybody. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. I enjoyed it too. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope to see you guys next weekend, hopefully, fingers crossed. And stay safe and healthy, you guys. I know the pandemic is picking up some speed lately, so stay healthy, everybody. Have a wonderful week. Bye.